All right, good evening, everybody. It's um, Monday, the 5th of July. So I hope if you're in the US, you've enjoyed your 4th of July weekend. I was in the UK. It's not it's not a holiday here. So it was a work day and so the market was closed. So getting back to normal again with the markets back open again tomorrow. So I'm going to do this video is going to be um, focused on the US stocks, um, more of a focus on some of the more sort of um, position trades um, with with a few swing trades in there. But the end of last week was a bit quiet with with it going into holiday weekend. So I've done a bit more focus over the weekend on on some of the longer term trades. And so we're going to begin with with Amazon, which is A M Z N. So you can see for the last year we've been making a a strong basing structure. It, it was in stage three, obviously for half of half of the point, but it. It made a local spring back in well, got there. local spring back in March, and then a test and followed through, and we started to make a high, high, and tested back at the top of the range. So we reverted from stage three in this area. We had a, a failed stage four breakdown here, and then we moved back into potential stage one base in this in this area here. So we, in Wyckoff terms, we got our phase A over here with the buying climax and the automatic reaction and then the secondary test. So that's your phase A area. Then we had the phase B testing area here with the local spring with our potential phase C in here and then a minor sign of strength. And we've had a, a last point of support down here. So with a higher low, about half of the range, which come back to the 30 week moving average here and rebounded and we're back near the top of the range here with another little mini cup and handle pattern here so you can see there's a what we got there a eight or nine week cup and handle forming with with a two week handle there so we're back right near the top of the range relative strength is still below the declining zero line but it has been improving you can see it's been pretty much in line with the market since since around the end of february and you can see the, the zero line here, which is the 52-week moving average of the RS line versus the S&P 500. You can see this is still slightly declining. So we want to see if we do get a breakout to new highs here, and stage two, what we call a stage two continuation breakout, then we'd want to see the, the relative strength line make some new highs here back through the zero line. If we look at the daily chart on this, you can see the, the phase D in more and C and D in more um, clarity here you can see that this this point in here this is what this is the phase c it moved below the 200 day moving average here we had the spring and the test it didn't make a lower low no so we didn't get a full spring so it showed some relative strength in there and then we've had that minor sign of strength rally that didn't manage to get above the top of the range a little poke there a little up thrust but it's come back in for a last point of support and then we've moved back up you can see we've got this very small sort of cup and handle type pattern here it's not it's not a very good cup and handle in in there but but like a lot of the the large caps at the moment amazon apple facebook google nvidia etc there's mo most of the fang names have been moving quite strongly over the last few weeks i think there's a possibility that um the institutions are moving towards the larger caps again with the market being quite extended and making the stage two continuation breakout with the nasdaq and um s p 500 back at new highs again but after basing for a while so we could we're, we're seeing a bit of a shift to the larger the larger cap names with the small caps starting to lag again after we had that strong period for the small caps through november to february time so amazon is in in a potential position to make a stage two continuation breakout here so watching for for it to break above this near-term pivot here, which is at 3554. I've already got a position in my pension account. I got in around this area over here before it it made the, the back up there, well, a little bit more extreme back up than I would have liked, but it did hold the 200 day and come back through again. So starting to starting to move into a little bit of profit on that one now, not, not a huge amount at the moment. I think I'm only up like five, six percent on it. Nothing, nothing major on that, but it's a, a longer term position for me because I'm in my pension account I've got mostly at the moment I've got mostly mega caps as well as as well as a um, one of the crypto stocks and um, ARB but which I've had for a little while now since the start of the year so this Amazon is looking really interesting here for a potential stage to continuation breakout uh, next up we've got Apple 
So um, this one's been, is also potentially going for another stage two continuation breakout attempt. You can see we've been in a stage three um, topping sort of pattern for a little while now, um, since early since early in the year. So end of January there, we had that change of behavior and started to pull back. It was it was potentially still in, it was still in stage two here. It was forming a cup and starting to, it had a potential breakout to new highs. So made a stage two continuation breakout attempt, but that immediate failure and then the change of behavior on that with a sharp pullback uh, moved it into stage three. But now with this week's this week's higher high, the relative strength started to move back up again. We're we're looking for a potential stage two continuation breakout. So the stage three could could be failing and could obviously just be a, a deeper basing pattern and we could carry on to make new highs on this one. But looking out for that at the moment. Um if we go down to the intraday chart on this, so this is the two hour time frame. So I use this a lot for the swing trades as you can use stage analysis on, on multiple time frames, and it really helps you to refine entry points. So the stage two a breakout that we use um, point that we use on the weekly chart is exactly the same on the two hour time frame. So, and as you can see in here, we've got a, a stage one basing structure in here with classic Wyckoff sort of structure. We've got selling climax and automatic rally and secondary tests. And then we've got a last point of support and then a backing up action before we made the stage 2A breakout in here. So you had phases C and D within the first, um, in the stage one base on the two hour chart here. So you could have potentially even got in, in, in this area here if you're using the Wyckoff method. If you're using stage analysis, then the initial breakout is called stage 2a breakout and we look for um, a breakout on more than two times average volume so you can see it wasn't quite up to scratch on the volume there on the breakout but it was a clear strong breakout and followed through and had a had a clear backup and then followed through again so again Wyckoff entry points as well as stage analysis entry points so the Wyckoff entry points are generally more on the backing up action and follow through versus the, the stage analysis entry points are, are on the breakouts generally. Although pullback moves in stage analysis are also entry points. They're just not used as often by people. I think they, they all focus on, on the breakouts only, whereas obviously the pullback entry points can be really useful. And dropping down to the, the two-hour time frame is one of the ways you can get in on the pullback entries. So if we go back in the weekly chart here on Apple, you can see that in stage analysis, we're now at a potential stage analysis entry point with this week's breakout over a previous pivot here to a new high breakout whereas on the two hour chart you can see the little this little area in here was the stage one base and then you could have got in further down in in this area down here so maybe three weeks ago on this so go back to that two hour chart there so the stage trade breakout on the two hour chart was on the 14th of june and you would have got in around 129 ish whereas we're obviously up at 139 140 now so that was, what was that, 129? So around 7 or 8% ago. So a little bit more of an advantage on getting on in on those entry points at times and can be really useful for investors and traders alike to use the multiple time frame approach to actually fine tune your entry points as, as it can be really useful as once once they all converge and align, then it can give you it can give you an early entry point where you can especially if you're averaging in and not not taking an initial entry at full size if you're you're using multiple entry points then you can you can choose a lower risk entry point further down with with a smaller stop loss and then gradually move into your position and, and complete your position at the at the final stage to a breakout point or stage two continuation breakout depending on what you're you're aiming for so apple potential for a stage two continuation breakout so on watch for that Again, I've got a position in this in my pension account already. I tried at the previous cup and handle bit here, so had to endure a little bit of a pullback. But again, as I said, from my pension account, we've got we're using investor method stop losses, and so have a lot more lot more room for manoeuvre. It's, it's more like ten percent plus stop losses, which I think we pulled back a little bit more. We pulled back on this. So about 8% or so on this. So it did get close, but the you know, stop loss was was under this previous range here. So not that close. Uh, next up, 
we got Neo. So this one tracking for a long time. I did trade it last year multiple times. So it had a really good move last year, and the stage two advance was over one thousand four hundred percent. You see, we had a, a big stage two A breakout back down at five dollars. I did actually highlight this multiple times at the time on my on my public Twitter feed. So you can go back and search those, and you can see it back when it was forming these lower patterns in here so it was tesla was moving very strongly at the time and the whole automobiles group was was having a really good good time of it and was the strongest group throughout 2020 actually it was it was num the number one group for the 2020 rally so if you'd got in neo tesla or any of the general car electric car makers then you had a you had a really good good 2020 so I was I was in and out of Neo and Tesla multiple times. So it was it was a good good group to stick with. So it's now formed a stage three topping pattern down here. You see the change of behaviour we had earlier in the year, and then it started to base, and we've had a, a lower basing structure in here. So you can't quite see it so much on the weekly chart here, but we've we've had a potential small sign of strength in here as we've broken out of this lower range. So if we get down to the daily chart here. Right, so as you can see on the daily chart, we've got this lower range that I was talking about on the weekly. It's back on the weekly here. This is this, this area in here on there. So the, the stage three, part of the stage three range and then potentially moving back into stage one. So the stage three range was in, in this zone in here and then We've had a spring and a test and followed through with a sign of strength rally. So we're now potentially back in stage one with the sign of strength rally taking us out of this lower trading range within the broader weekly stage three range. So we've got, again, we had the classic Wyckoff structure here with selling climax in the automatic rally and secondary tests. So your phase A and then we had phase B before a little a spring and test in phase C and sign of strength rally. Last point of support. And then we're potentially into some backing up action now. So on this chart here, I've got what I use, the free ATR bands that I use regularly, which you'll see on my feed. So this is the count the channel with, and each band is one ATR from the 21 day EMA. So you see when we get up to the, the free, free ATR band, we're, we're generally a little bit short term oversold and you generally get a bit of backing up action. So we got that with a little sign of strength rally here. We are backed up and to the 180 r level, and we're in a good, strong short-term uptrend within the weekly stage one. So with this, what I'm looking for is some the backing up action to complete, and then for it to start start moving on out and up again to go for a, a stage two continuation breakout to new highs. But obviously, using earlier entry points with the Wyckoff method, you could obviously get in on the backing up action once it resolves if if it holds above the range and shows some good constructive price action and effort versus result with lower volume and, and tighter range on the bars. So we'll be watching out for that. This one's definitely high on my focus list this week as as the automobiles have been been looking strong again with, with Tesla moving back into focus recently. Uh, right next up, so AMD. This is another, another one I've been tracking for a very long time. It had a massive base for the last year. We moved into stage, big stage three top. We had a lot of distribution after a two-year stage two advance. So a huge stage two advance over over two years. We we were up from low to high there. You've got five hundred percent move. It's a really sl slow grinding move that to back and forwards to the thirty-week moving average. And see how well it performed during the coronavirus crash compared to the rest of the market. Look at that relative strength line. Even though the stock was going down there, that relative strength line was powering to new highs, which is a big, big clue that you can look for when when a stock is doing that. When when the market is crashing and the relative strength line is powering to new highs, then that's that's the stock you wanna wanna keep an eye on and, and get in as soon as possible, as soon as it starts to turn. So on the turn back through here, it was it was a definite one to be be looking at. But it topped out. It's one of the early top outs. So that was a stock that you wanted to look at aggressively when the market started to turn back in early April. 
So it was one of the early ones to, to top out, similar to Amazon, as it was one of the early runners. And it's had this massive distributional structure for the last year now. So since it topped out back in August last year, obviously we're in early July again now. So 11 months in a base now, this big head and shoulders type pattern. But it failed to break down into stage four. You can see it made an attempt and it sprung and it's moved back up. We've had a test and then in the last week it followed through to the upside finally after making a solid basing structure for a little while down here, which we'll, we'll zoom in on the daily now. So you can see on the daily chart, we've talked about this previously on, on the other videos. We had this, this sign of strength bar a few weeks back, which I told you was, was not a point to be entering because it was running into near-term resistance. So it was a failed breakout. It might have been a sign of strength bar, but its intention was to break out and it did not manage to break out at the time. So we had the reaction, it came back into support and then it got into a more interesting point with this day here, the day after the pullback to the backup. So this was this would have been a solid entry point down here and then it's followed through from there and it's now up another 13, 14% from that point with our sign of strength rally now out from the spring. So out from the spring and test and then the last point of support, got sign of strength bar, sign of strength rally. So we're now looking for, and we've cleared this near term resistance here and we're starting to make a, a broader sort of cup type pattern. So I'd be looking for this to start consolidating to, to the sideways and going up and down within this range, potentially backing up a little bit whether it gets back below the, the up thrust action here or comes all the way back down to this bar here will we'll tell you something. But with the, the strength on this bar of the volume, then you wouldn't really want to see it to come back below, back into the range here. You want to see it hold above this, this area here. So ideally, any backing up action should should ideally hold above this, this bar or at least getting halfway into it. So maybe the 88 level there. So this one's a definite one to keep an eye on and is one of the large cap as it's one of the large caps in the group. And as we said earlier, the large caps are are getting some interest again with, with NVIDIA, which is our potential true market leader for 2021 so far, moving on strongly. And the rest of the semiconductors are starting to follow suit now. Okay, next up, let's have a look at Bill. So I highlighted this one on the feed two and it was it's on our watch list this week again making a a big cup pattern here we've got a what's that a 20 week cup pattern and it's been in the institutional advance phase for a while now and so we're in a potential it could still be classed as stage 2b which is the b means late in stage two or you could you could obviously say this was a with a change of behavior here that this is potential stage three topping pattern so until we we break one way or the other, we it's it's an unknown. Basically, it's a it's a trading range, and so the bias isn't determined yet until we until we break one way or the other. But we're making the higher high in here at the moment, so it's looking more likely that it will make a stage two continuation breakout attempt over a over a breakdown. So and if we look on the daily here, you can see we've made a a smaller trading range in here with our classic structure we've shown before with your selling climax in there, automatic reaction, some secondary tests and some spring type action in here in the test. And we've had a sign of strength rally within and now a little bit of backing up action going on in here within this cup, overall cup pattern. So you've got a potential cup and handle type pattern forming, but we need we still need it to develop a little bit more. And but you can see it's the volume's down a little bit here, so it's tightening up in the handle. So it is looking constructive. Next up, this is more of a potential swing trade at the moment. You could it could still be a position trade. If we go to the weekly on it first, you can see it's had a, a big stage to advance and it's been forming a what have we got there? A 21 week VCP type pattern in here. So it's been basing. It's its first major base since the stage two breakout here, since we well second base. So second base since the stage two breakout. So it's by no means tapped out in that regard yet. Um, if we go back. back in here, I've marked up a potential um, the VCP pattern. So you can see the, what we call a, a 5T VCP. So there's five 
five little um, swings within this range. Obviously, I'm classing this as one bigger swing. So we had a 22%, 17 8%, then 5 and then this last one here is about 4%. So it's it's been gradually grinding down and getting tighter on each each swing so and it's it's forming near the top of the range so pretty pretty decent vcp pattern forming and it's got a nice tight range in here now for a potential swing trade with a with a four percent range there you can get get a nice tight stop loss in there and and go for a test it with a with a small position and if it breaks out then you could obviously go for a, a add and go for a full position on that so is, is how i would trade it personally but i'm going to consider this one this week i'm gonna watch watch how it goes out of the gate tomorrow and see see how it starts but but yeah i do like this one uh, okay next up is crnc so i highlighted this one on friday on the on the twitter feed as it had and a Bible gap up type move. So not sure what the reason was for. So if we go to the daily chart here, it just had huge volume. So 3.6 million shares on the day, which is bigger than anything it's had over the last nine months there. You can see it's been making a, a cup and handle type pattern. It's a bit of a low handle. So a cup with low handle at the moment. But we had this, it's blasted through the handle here with the, with the gap up on Friday. It managed to hold. It was a bit of a spinning top type candle there so we could potentially use a fish hook on this one so if it gets some if it backs up a bit on on tuesday and during the week you would then be looking the fish hook is when you you break through the the close friday's close there on strong relative volume so what we got there 127.8 would be your trigger point on that which would give you and then you would have a stop under the the bible gap up low there so you've got well, it'd be a four percent four percent stop loss on that so that one's that one's got potential if we look at the weekly on this quickly you can see we're making a cup and handle type pattern in there it's it broke out of the initial ipo base down here back down here and moved into stage two and had a really good stage two advance so i haven't marked up the chart there but it had 350 percent stage two advance so it's now currently in stage three but forming a potential cup and handle pattern so this one like i said could be good swing trade or it could even be potential for a position trade with this one but the the swing trade entry point could be used for either all right moving on let's talk about crowd so as you know i traded this one recently had a good little swing trade in this out of the this area in here it moved back towards the highs um it's been um this is what an older chart that i marked up last year during the when it broke out into stage two back down here because i was i was tracking this one all the way through the stage two advance last year and you can again you can go back on the old the public twitter stream and search for crowd versus and at stage analysis and you'll be able to see it when it was a bit further back in its range so this is what we call a, a late bloomer pattern so when it comes out of an ipo so it had a little ipo advanced phase and then it went into the what we call the institutional due diligence phase a little bit of ipo advanced failure and it then formed a higher base and we had a secondary base up here before moving out into the institutional advanced phase so this is our stage 2a breakout back down here and during last year that that would have got you in and got you as an investor method like there was a 200 plus 260 percent all the way to the top of the range there so on the change of behavior down here and stop out you would have if you choose your investor stop loss on that as a position trade you would have got out for about 170 percent on that which would have been a really good really good move on that but now we're making a cut pattern again and looking for a potential stage two continuation to new highs so what we call the again the institutional advance phase so this is in stage three currently if we look at our daily chart on this you can see this this point here was an early entry point which i took the other week had a good little trade up through this this area in here and took took a quick profit on that one so it's now potentially forming a little bit of backing up action here consolidating at the highs you can see volume has, has tailed off a bit there after the initial failed 
continuation breakout attempt there. So it's got good potential to make a continuation breakout to new highs. So keeping a close eye on that one. And you would see the near term pivot there is 260.82. So that would give you, if you put your stop loss under there. So it's got about 6 or 7% stop loss currently. All right, next up, similar pattern. This is LSPD. So I've highlighted this one multiple times recently as it's been forming a really good um, Wyckoff type range within within the stage three base. You see it did similar sort of move as Crowd did. We had the stage one and went into stage four before making a stage one base and breaking out during last year and having a really good move up. I don't think it was as good it's that 200% move, so still a really good move into stage three now and making a potential stage two continuation breakout to new highs. So we've talked about this one multiple times over the last few weeks. It's had had the selling climax and the automatic reaction and secondary test in here. So you had a phase phase A in here in low range. We had phase B with some testing, and then we have got a local spring. So it didn't get all the way back down to the the selling climax again formed the last point of support slash backing up action after a minor sign of strength rally there had a sign of strength bar and then it's had a, a proper sign of strength rally out to new highs here so we've got a change of behavior going on here with it moving out to new highs with a stage two continuation breakout attempt and a little bit of further backing up action in here so this one looking for a move again through 87.51 there which you got again about seven percent or so stop loss currently on that if you did take take the entry point through there or you could potentially look for further backing up action or consolidation so that one's that was an interesting one and as i said we could we're looking for this to go much longer into the institutional advance phase and but it is it is coming up to the key what we call the Livermore 100 level, so that could act as some resistance, and we could get some further backing up action after that. But that's still about 15, 20 percent away at the moment. So where are we? What's next? Snap. So snap. This is another one that traded a few times. It's been making a similar sort of basing pat pattern as a lot of these stocks in the communication services sector have been doing so we've got our little base within stage three there which would go down to the daily chart here you can see it had a little bit of a sign of weakness initially but then formed this higher low with some spring type action but didn't obviously make it made it with a higher low so last point of support and then some backing up action so another last point of support and has moved on out so we've got our minor sort of sign of strength at the moment there's no real volume coming in we've got earnings in a couple of weeks on this one and it's not obviously out to new highs yet so potentially we've we're in potential early phase e on this within the broader range so potentially back in back in stage one after being in in stage three for a while and failing to break down to stage four so be looking for a, a stage two continuation breakout to new highs out of this cup type pattern slash double bottom but not a pure double bottom as you need spring type action with a double bottom but it's making constructive base and obviously it's starting to wait it looks like it's going to wait for earnings before making a big move but you could you could obviously get a an earlier entry point before earnings if you and get a little bit of a cushion if that's that's how you like to play your earnings uh, next up tesla so Tesla is the reason why the automobile sector has, has become hot again recently as it, it managed to start moving up off of the lows. So it's had four or five weeks now of, of reasonable price action, started to consolidate again. You can see after its obviously huge stage two run it had last year, it was over 1,500% in the last what, year and a half. And so it was, I played a few little moves within it. So I got a good little 100% move. I think I took it in this area here and got the got the final run on that and did played it in this area as well. So a few little moves, swing trade moves on, on Tesla last year, but the big move was obviously holding it for the entire investor method move, and which would have taken you out around this point here or 
on the the lower low and back up backing up in here so if you'd taken the full investor method and used it the stop losses as they went up you could have got over a thousand percent for out of the trade completely if we look down on the daily chart here so you can see i've got the, the free atr bands on this you can see the lower base it's been making in here got underneath the the 200 day moving average but didn't didn't make a lower low started to form up and then followed through through the 50 day moving average and one atr level there and then it's it gapped up to the free atr level and has been consolidating sideways at the top of the top of the rain um, downtrend line here so looking for this to break out above this pivot point here 69762 so which would give you if it broke out through that you got four or five percent stop loss on that if it does go through there so potential for a good swing trade entry but this one could could again become a longer term entry point if it does go through there so you could use the swing trade entry point as either for swing or position trade as you've got good really good low risk on the stop there right and then finally um upwk which is up work so this one had a, a double bottom pattern within here it's had the, the double bottom entry point there with the breakout through uh, two weeks ago and it's a little bit above that at the moment so it's about 10 percent above that at the moment you see it had a really good stage two advance last year but this point here is not the stage two point really strong v type move off of the bottom here and then consolidated so you would have the, the stage two entry point would have been around here so because it already had such a strong move off the lows it was it consolidated for a good few months before then following through and having a further really strong breakout point so it's still a further 260 percent move to the highs up there before the change of behavior and moving into stage three here so we look down on the daily chart again very similar pattern to what we've been seeing on a lot of the other communication services names and software names um if those that saw my weekend updates would have seen that communication services is now up to second overall with stocks like um facebook and google etc um the bigger names in in that area so it's one of the strongest groups now as well as tech starting to recover and moving up in the range as well i think tech is up to about fourth as well so you can see exactly the same as we've been talking about with other ones we had our selling climax and automatic rally and then secondary test so phase a we had some a small phase b before phase c with the spring and test and then a last point of support after a minor sign of strength rally and then the sign of strength bar which took us a break with the breakout move here on strong relative volume and we've had a sign of strength rally here so you've got a a clear change of behavior even though it's still not broken out to new highs so we're not yet at the stage two continuation breakout point but we are we've got we've been through multiple wyckoff entry points for swing and position traders so with the spring the secondary test and the breakout from here you've got the further point up here you've got the sign of strength bar and now so a further entry point would be if the if, I, if the backup holds above the top of this range and starts to move back out again then you'll get a further entry point on the backing up action in here so potentially looking for it to move in the back down to the 55 level here we want to see it come back too much but would want to see it hold above the range so as long as it doesn't come back more than 10 percent there and drop back into the range it would be it'd be quite promising if we look at the free atr chart here you can see it's above the 58.51, 58 58.45. 58 so it's around the 2 ATR level at the moment, but it's trending mostly above the 1 ATR. So I'll be looking for it. 55.82 is the 1 ATR level. So I would want to see it hold above that. And the 21 day EMA is at 53.14 there. So as long as it holds above the 21 day EMA, then we're in a good solid uptrend, even though it's still within a broader basing structure. So that's one to look out for this week as well. Okay, thanks for watching guys and good luck this week.